Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to look at partial fraction decomposition for fractions with an irreducible quadratic factor in the denominator. An irreducible quadratic factor is simply a quadratic that you can't factorise. So for example, x squared plus 3 would be an irreducible quadratic factor, whereas x squared minus 1, for example, would not be, because you could factorise it as x minus 1 times x plus 1. So back to our original fraction, just as we did with fractions with the linear factors in the denominator, we need a partial fraction for every factor. But the difference is that for the partial fraction with a quadratic in the denominator, we need both a linear term and a constant term in the numerator. Now that we know what our partial fractions need to be, our next step is to go ahead and work out the values for a, b and c. And so let's start by multiplying both sides by the common denominator x squared plus 3, x plus 2. So when we multiply both sides by the common denominator x squared plus 3, x plus 2, then on the left x squared plus 3 is going to cancel with x squared plus 3 and x plus 2 is going to cancel with x plus 2. On the right hand side, let's expand uh, the brackets we've got. So we have a times x squared plus 3, x plus 2, all over x plus 2. And then we have bx plus c times x squared plus 3, x plus 2. And that is divided by x squared plus 3. And so the x plus 2 will cancel with the x plus 2 here. And the x squared plus 3 is going to cancel with the x, x squared plus 3 here. And so in the end, we're going to be left with a times x squared plus 3 plus bx plus c multiplied by x plus 2. And both of these are equal to x minus 5. Also, if you're getting value from this video, then consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you never miss a thing. So at this point, we can either plug in values for x or we can equate coefficients. And in this video, I'm going to show you both. So starting by picking values for x, uh, is there a value for x for which x squared plus 3 is equal to 0? Well, let's think about that. x squared plus 3 is equal to 0. That would require us to solve x squared equals minus 3 and there is no real solution to this equation and therefore we should instead look at our other factor x plus 2 and is there a value of x for which x plus 2 is equal to 0? Well yes there is, that's when x is equal to minus 2 and so x minus 2 or x equals minus 2 is going to be our choice for x. So on the left we're going to have minus 2 minus 5 is equal to a times minus 2 squared plus 3 and we're going to have bx plus c times 0 minus 2 plus 2. So we're just going to get 0 from this term. So let's sort this out. Minus 7 is equal to a times 4 plus 3. And so minus 7 is equal to 7a. Therefore, a is equal to minus 1. So at this point, we could continue picking values for x. For example, x equals 0 or x equals 1 would be sensible values for x. But for the sake of variety, let's compare coefficients. So there aren't many x squared, so let's compare the coefficients of x squared. On the left we have a grand total of 0x squared, and on the right hand side we have minus 1 from this term, and 
if we were to expand these brackets we would end up with bx squared and so on the right hand side we have a total of minus 1 plus bx squared and since this equation must hold true for any x then the number of x squareds on the left must equal the number of x squareds on the right and so that tells us that 0 is equal to minus 1 plus b and therefore b is equal to 1. Let's finish off by comparing the coefficients of x to the 0 or the constant terms. So comparing the constant terms on the left we have a constant of minus 5 and on the right hand side we have minus 3 from this term and from these brackets we have uh, 2c so minus 5 must equal minus 3 plus 2c so adding 3 to both sides is going to give us minus 2 is equal to 2c and therefore c is equal to minus 1 and so looking back at our original problem we now have our values for a b and c and so these are our partial fractions hey guys thanks for sticking around if you found the video helpful then hit that subscribe button and uh, comment down below what video you want me to make next and i'll see you next time